Hey guys, gals, friends, and pals, this is Paul, East X Twitch, and welcome to another episode of Saturday Game School, where we learn about a different game every Saturday of the year. Tonight, I'm joined on Mike by Galadrius. Hola, bonjour, hello, my little jumping beans. <laughs> Thank you for that lengthy greeting. Then we've got Brandy Cats off to the side. Hello. And we are playing Castle Walker on Xbox. It is also available on Windows 10 and nothing else. It's on the Windows Store and Xbox. This is an easy achievement game with 3,000 gamer score. Or at least it's a 3,000 gamer score game, but I think they're easy achievements. So let's just give it a look. Nice pixel art style here. Need help. Rescue the castle. we got to walk on the castle and then rescue it. Walk to the castle and rescue it. Here we go. Icky is already giving away a code. Uh, this okay. is for Windows 10. Uh, I mean, I guess it's not on Steam. Or is it? Yeah, no. It is on nothing but Xbox and the Windows Store. Oh, okay. Yeah, which is weird. Why wouldn't you release it on Steam? I don't know. But yeah, Whatever works. Yep. No Time for Games is here. Glad to see you, No Time for Games. All right, so some of this pixel art is good, and some of it is, like, the animation. There's not enough animation, so, like, they just turn around and they don't actually turn. But, yeah, some of this looks okay. I mean, you can skip the intro team, if you right? want. Probably so, team. yeah. It is yeah. an indie developer of some sort. Yeah, so, you know, it won't be perfect. This comes from Desert Water Games. So, thirsty. There we go. Interesting. Um, is the the other lady ran ahead of me. Get back here, lady. That makes me want this game to be co-op, which it isn't as far as I know. Hey, that's a bad guy, and I killed him. He died very easily. And there was an achievement. Yes, this is an easy achievement game. First Blood 100 gamer score. Yeah, man, I really had to work hard for that. So hard. We got some parallax scrolling, which is always appreciated. Every 2D game should have parallax. There's another one. Yep. Kill ten enemies. What do you think, Galadrius? I mean, seriously, this is the next avatar. You're just going to sit there and grind your way to 3,000 points. <laughs> I'll take it. I like me a good 2D platformer. We or even uh, or even a an average 2D platformer. There's another one. Kill 20, 20 enemies. enemies. Yep, there we Music's go. Music's pretty good. I just took a hit because I wasn't concentrating enough. That's all right. Ah! So make sure you kill all the enemies so you can get mad achievements from it. <laughs> that would be so awesome if I got all 3,000 on stream. There's another. Welcome to Achievement Score, the game. <laughs> I wonder if it's going to do every dead. It's hilarious. Until you get the... <laughs> you ah, skeletons! 300. I like some skeletons. <laughs> he is going slow. I guess he is, awesome. really is a castle walker. And Dementia's here. That's true. He, he is not a castle runner. Death achievement. <laughs> yeah, there should be one for not concentrating. That is a good point. Gladrius, what have you been up to this week? Uh, just my usual stuff. You know, playing games and stuff. I should talk about the games I've played. Sure, go for it. Uh, first off, there is a new game out. Uh, it's been hyped for some time, but it's finally out for Switch and PC. It's called Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. Uh, I it is have a, not heard of that. It is a spiritual spinoff of Jet Set Radio. Oh, neat. Yeah, I mean, they did the art style, the music. I mean, it's definitely heavily inspired by Jet Set. Oh, congratulations, Jono. Won the code. Go, Jono! Um, so yeah, Bum Rush Cyberpunk. I'm still playing food through it, but it's good fun and it looks fantastic for an indie game. And it's coming on Xbox and PlayStation next month. Thank you, Dark Player. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's uh -oh. definitely going to be one of those darlings of like the Jet Set style of game. Uh, there's that. And then there's another indie game I think you might enjoy there, Paul. Shinobi uh -oh. Non Grata. Okay. Why is this? This is on autopilot. What in the world is it? It's showing your friend getting... getting yeah, she got beat up, and then, then I got beat up. And I'm going to fall, I guess, because I'm not controlling it. Yeah, well, they're setting up the story. I guess. That's weird. 
Where's my achievement for that? Okay, so anyway, before Shinobi non grata died. Oh yeah, the darker player. That's one death. Hero never die. No, I did it. I'm alive. That wasn't a death. Yeah, that was like absolutely. That was scripted. Yeah, scripted. <laughs> Yo, okay. Simeus, good to see you, Simeus. We missed you, dude. So, Simeus, was... don't forget to come to Discord and chat with us and stuff. I did see you chatting with Perfect Zero, but it's dead when you're not around. Yeah. So, All Bomb right, Rush on. Cyberpunk was one of the games. Uh, Dark Adventure uh, from Arcade Archives dropped uh, on X. I'm sorry, PlayStation and Nintendo Switch. It's an old 19 1987 arcade adventure from konami it's like gauntlet with um adventure characters i like the sound of that yep and uh there are three different versions of the game and they're all different which is kind of cool and they're all included yep they're all included like the sunset riders versions with those games so and it's only eight bucks you know which is very reasonable for a classic game. yeah it is and you can do co-op you can do co-op you know so you, uh, one more for your collection I should get that. It's a shame that Hamster won't do review copies because we would love to actually review their stuff sometime. Although right now I'm too busy to review anything, but... Yeah, because you're slammed. I get it. Yeah. Uh, and ah, then crap. the next game I want to talk about is called Shinobi Non Grata. Now this Shinobi is... Shinobi Non Grata. It's a combination like Ninja, Ninja Gaiden and Ninja Spirit. Uh, let me look up who developed it. Quick question. Does it have any relation to that movie Teeth? No. What the... No. You, you know, Teeth, the movie about the woman who has... Yeah, um, I, I really don't need money to that movie. It's, it's, vagina Dentata. Yeah, Vagina Dentata. No, no, no. That, oh, she okay. is, that is not so, it. The, brown, the brown thing looks like shag carpet from the Zenities. So, this game is developed by Studio Pico and developed by Fly High Works. Two you go through a, score. You go through um, a side-scrolling scenario where you beat up enemies and everything like that, and then you face bosses. <laughs> But it's really cool, really well done. I mean, the 8-bit's art style is terrific, the music is good, and the challenge is definitely up there. I like facing bosses. Yeah, so you'll like this then. Uh, darker player, this... It's kind of hard to say exactly what this is inspired by. It's not, like, particularly Castlevania-like. It's kind of like, I don't know, Battle for Olympus or Faxanadu. Not really Faxanadu, but, like, visually... Just kind of a generic NES style, I would say. Destroy the obstacle for 100 gamer score. Like a better Mylon Secret Castle, maybe? Well, that didn't have scrolling, did it? Or maybe it did. It's um, been a while it, since I played it. In some of those smaller stages, maybe, I think so. Yeah, I, I played it back, like, right when it came out, and I've never played it since, so that's been ages. Seriously? That was by Hudson, wasn't it? I think it was. So I yeah, it was, mm -hmm. correct. Ghouls and Ghosts, maybe a little? Yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah. Clearly, just inspired by games of the era of the '80s in particular. Yeah. So yeah, those are the games I've been playing. It's been a really great week for uh, indie games. It's been nice. Uh, and then uh, there's also a demo for the new Samba de Amigo game, Party Central, on Nintendo Switch. How good is it? It's pretty good. Uh, the controls are responsive. They added some new motions, like waving your arms up and down and some little challenging points. Oh, man. The songs are about, you know, their dancey stuff. They drew a Pitbull song in there, his cover of Shakes and Nora, which I didn't even think he did. Yeah, and the, well, the real song is called Jump in the Line, so yeah. uh, it's his version of that, I guess. But, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, by uh, Harry Belafonte, right? Yeah, and mm -hmm. I love Harry Belafonte. Yeah, we reached whatever that was, probably a checkpoint or something. Yeah. Yeah. I turn on so, turbo, yeah, um, by the way. But, I mean, there are two songs you can try out with the demo. It's free, and you can either play with the controller or you can do motion yet by holding um, the Joy-Cons in each hand, like like Samba controllers, you know, like like the Maracas. Man, I hope Don't... they release Maracas to put the Joy-Cons in. That would be so good. I'm sure they're already, there's already somebody working on it. There has to be. I mean, there's, if not better. official. Yeah, so for people who don't know, Samba de Amiga was a late 90s, early early 2000s Sega arcade game and was ported to the Sega Dreamcast, and then there was a Japanese sequel or update called Samba de Amiga version 2000. And I had those expensive Morocco controllers, and I had version 2000, and I loved that. I mean, that was before Guitar Hero was a big deal. Samba de Amiga did... The controls could have been just... We're talking about real... Uh, real Maraca controllers. I mean, like, they were not the most accurate controllers in the world, but it was such a cool game and it had a great selection of music. 
Yeah, I, they're it, not going to make Morocco controllers for just one. I mean, this is not the Dreamcast era, I'm afraid. But, but I mean, that's the thing. They just have to be shells for the Joy-Cons. So well, they did I think... that. I, I just linked something there for okay. a third party that's doing that. All right, good. Yeah, I'll take that. But, yeah, the... The Dreamcast ones were wired, so and they had like a, a weird kind of sensor that had to be pointed down towards the ground. So when you're swinging your arms around, if if the sensor wasn't pointing down, it would affect the accuracy of the controller. And they had mats that you had to stand on as well. Right. Achievement, yo! So anyway, fantastic rhythm and music game, and I hope the the Switch game will also be good. I doubt it's going to be as good, even though it'll have new features. Just got double jump. But I'm going to be all over it. Oh, yeah, I mean, jump. it's good to see the series back because I think the last time we saw it was on when it was on the Wii. Yeah. By a port that was actually done by Gearbox, which I couldn't believe. Really? I thought it was Sumo Digital. I mean, no, it was uh, Gearbox developed it, I believe. Here's Tyler, I believe. I really think it was Sumo Digital. Why don't you check? Let me okay. check. I'm, Tyler, I'm, you're okay. I'm okay. There was a big storm at the barbecue, and everyone had to like run under the canopy thing, and it was quite entertaining. Quite an entertaining barbecue. Wow, that's good, Tyler. And how do they like your... I guess you brought banana pudding or something. That's right. Everyone loved it. Yay! That's good stuff, banana pudding. Yeah, it, it was Gearbox. Okay, my bad. You you got me. What did Sumo Digital... I mean, they made the Sega Racing games, but I'm sure they made something else for Sega, too. Maybe it was well, the tennis game. Sonic Tennis on, or checking. something. Ah, I'm, I'm at a boss. Here. And Human Brian says he wants to play Samba de Amigo VR game. Is there actually one coming? Because that's awesome. If so, ah. They made the Outrun games. They made Virtua Tennis 3, uh, yeah. 4, ah. and World ah. Tour. Uh, they did Sega Rally Online Arcade. And they did uh, Superstars Tennis. That's what you're thinking of. Thank you. Yes, you're right. Oh, oh my gosh. What happened to my double jump? I can't double jump anymore, which is weird. I actually may die here. I don't want to die. Okay, Darker, uh, get ready to take notes. Uh, oh. See, because uh, the character movement is really slow. So you got to run back to the part where you can be safe from his attacks, right? But it doesn't really give you enough time to. Welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> it yeah, looks like your best. I guess he looks kind of dinosaur-ish. So, right, so now he's gonna free fire. Tyler, what kind of stuff do we eat at this barbecue? Goes. Tyler. Tyler! You're sneezing. Give him a minute to sneeze. Ah, uh, friggin' time. Tyler. Good grief, sneezing man. Maybe he he's... got sick because he didn't get under the canopy fast enough. Yeah, well, he might have also gotten some COVID. You know, our Tyler gets COVID basically every other week. I don't think he's ever had it. Sneezing fit. No, he has. Yeah. Ah! Yeah, Tyler wouldn't isolate during COVID. He was still just as social as ever, so he got it several times. Ah. Okay, I'm back. No, Tyler. I've never tested positive for COVID, but I was sick in, like, January 21. That might have been COVID, but I never went for the test. Look at you trying to manipulate the, the numbers, Tyler. The data, that's right. Weird. It's mostly because I live at home and, like, already was isolated and wasn't feeling good and going out. So, like, you know, I didn't need to know whether or not I was sick because I was going to isolate regardless. Slay the forest dragon. It says well, when you slay the dragon, do you become one? We hope you won't be sick, dude. So I can switch between two different Thank abilities. you. No, it's allergies. So now we have three layers of parallax. That's good. Well then, what else have you been up to this week, Tyler? Um, not too much working. Shopping. Shopping? Uh, What'd you buy? Toys and collectibles, like always. eBay wow. selling. I already did that. All the normal stuff. You say so. Mm -hmm. Alright. Then what have you been watching, Tyler? Surely you've uh, done some of that. Uh, I watch the Parks and Recreation. Good show. And I don't remember what else. I think that's about it. So I still don't understand why they took away my double jump. Why did I have a double I jump think from the potion gave you the double jump? It should be permanent upgrade. Permanent. Brian said swap abilities with LB. Is it on your abilities? 
Yeah, I got it. All right, let's let's use it. Oh, look at that. And that was an achievement, so yeah, I needed to do it. Thank you for the reminder, Brian. I want to kill that one enemy, though. I hate for an enemy to survive, but I can't jump high enough to get to it. Oh, can I... Maybe I can get on top of this. Yeah, There we go. Come here, douche. There we go. Mono regeneration times two. Oh, you can swap abilities with the left bumper. <laughs> yes, I can. I got an achievement for it, actually. Make your way. I just got 200 gamer score for knocking look, down that stalactite. Look at that movement speed, too. You're really just flying through this game. Well, it's well, called Castle Walker. It's not called <laughs> Castle Walker. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. The movement speed is a little too slow. It was annoying during that boss fight, but that's okay. Castle Stroller. <laughs> Kill one fire shooting lizard. Oof. <laughs> Right. And here comes another one. Hot crap. Yeah, he's, 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 he's already stacked up like he's already stacked up like 500 points, and the game has only been played. Two no, it's, it's yeah, ah. more than that, more like a thousand. Yeah, seriously. Tell me about yeah. fairy. Let's do this. The wee fairy. All right, kill the first go golem. All right, golem. However you say that word. Uh, I can't get on top of this. I want to kill that guy. There's another achievement. Yeah. Rats. You might get like you might like get five achievements for killing that little fly <laughs> thing above the arch. Yeah, you never know. So this game has three thousand gamer score in total, and I believe we will be getting a fair amount of it. Kill the first ghost and you get it like two hundred. Why do games have three thousand now? Well, they don't start with it, but they can get a thousand in an update, and so they're they're allowed to do that a certain number of times. Oops, I just jumped right into that. Uh, so they could literally Ooh. put out put out a game and then like update oh. it like a week later with nothing but the trope, but the achievements. And... Yes. Okay. Oh, I did not tell you guys about my epic haul today. Sure. I picked up a bunch of PS4 games and three PS Vita games for twenty five dollars. Vita games, which ones? Uh, let's see, Silent Hill, Memories, ah. I think that's, the, I don't know if that's the ah. rare one, I think the other one's the rare one, but that's still pretty good. Uh, Shinobito 2, Revenge Shinobido. of Zen, yeah, sorry, is that, yeah, is that how you say yeah. it? Yeah. I, I sound like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Call of Duty, the classic. Um, all with boxes, no instructions, but all with boxes, I mean, that's not bad. I don't and think then, like, the games so came with instructions. Yeah, probably couple not. did. Oh, um, but there's some other ones. Um, Minecraft for PS4, uh, Dark Souls 2, Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered, right. uh, Uncharted Collection, Bioshock Collection, Ghost of Tsushima. That's whoa, good dude! We got all the achievements. Is that, that was it. it. Three thousand oh. gamer score. There's not one for beating the game. <laughs> well, okay. Well, you, that technically is beating the game. Thanks for playing, everybody. Have a good that's, night. That's mad gamer score in less than thirty minutes. I'm telling you, it's the new Avatar. And don't forget, this game is on both Xbox and Windows 10, so if you want to double up, you can buy both versions and get 6,000. And 6, get all 000. the points. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Uh, we'll go, well, let's see, who can we raid? What, what's the name of that bosom girl that plays Baldur's Gate? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tyler, what was her name? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. That was hard. Forgot her name. <laughs> Typical. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, whoops. Well, at least she didn't die. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I don't have to. I don't have to worry about killing an individual enemy anymore. I've already got all no, the. No, you know the achievements. Yeah, <laughs> so you're good. Yeah. yeah. Tyler doesn't ask for names. It's just like, <laughs> hi, nice to meet you, lady. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to meet you both. He says to the individual <laughs> nice lady. To see both. Man after my own heart. <laughs> Tyler's like, but she's a really good player. <laughs> she's so good at this game. She's so great. <laughs> she like dies repeatedly in the first level. <laughs> then, makes, <laughs> then does a bear. You know, that's what we're doing. Yeah, and by the way, speaking of Baldur's Gate, Wolfie and Thyrenia got Baldur's Gate 3, so Brandy and I should play with them if we can ever make the time. It's a long game, so it's like... And you have to create a whole new game to play with different people, I believe. I don't think it's like they just hop into your existing game. Yeah. So it's not the most 
plug and play friendly thing, but but it's still like the highest rated game out there. Even they even beat uh, Tears of the Kingdom. From what yeah, I it's incredible. It, it's a shame some people are like very picky, unfortunately, and they they just can't appreciate things that have a learning curve and such. But uh, sort you know you don't know. Some people just have to be finicky. I don't get it. <laughs> It's practically Tyler's favorite game because of all the streamers that are enjoying it. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, it is really... I'm a very... I mean, I am I need short, easy-to-play games, not super huge, long games like that, because it doesn't fit my lifestyle, especially during the school year, but... Yeah, we never went back to Diablo 4, did we? <laughs> I have been playing Yeah, Granny, Granny still plays it. I will play it again sometime. You know, I like playing with Perfect Zero and, and Icky, but... Yeah, here we go. Here uh, tech, guy, ah, tech Guy wants to know, Tyler, have you ever seen Bunny AU? Uh, I don't think so. I use. Should I, I'm sure it's should, I, should I check her out? Yeah. I mean, I, Paul's I, already I, got all the achievements, or all the yeah, all the achievements in this, so there's no point in watching <laughs> anymore. <laughs> achievements aren't everything. I'm fighting a three-headed ghost. That's vomiting on him. Yeah, so that counts for something. What? <laughs> What's it count for? I don't know, but it's still fun. Epic Quiet hasn't even started Diablo. That's too bad. Some people are are angry about the the end game content being apparently not that long or not that much but i mean for me uh, just doing all the quests you're gonna get like 30 plus hours out of it so isn't that enough from a game does every game have to be and, one million billion hours long and yes. with the expansion it adds another 30 i mean with the the, the season? seasons if you're gonna do them yeah, yeah. but some it people like more. me don't really like the new season but still Oh, look, it's a big lady. Why am I fighting a big lady who turns into a that's mat? that's the one. I don't know. Oh, gosh. Like, I'm so though. annoyed. Tyler she... likes her already. <laughs> it's true. No, he says she's wearing too much clothing. Way too much clothing. <laughs> that's our Tyler. Ah! She's also hitting me. Stop hitting me, lady. Well, get out of her way of her wingspan. Ah, what is... I don't like that. Select type. Move, 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 move. Crap, crap, crap. No, please don't. I'd run. Oh, there you go. Or walk. Hey, it didn't away. hit me. Didn't hit me. Oh. I just looked I, up the uh, in the Guinness Book of World Records, and it, you've, you're now farther in this game than any person has ever played. <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> That's just up. He's walked a long way. That's right. Everyone turns it off the second they hit that 3,000, and you're like, no, I'm trucking on. <laughs> well, we've, we've got half an hour left, left at least. Left. Okay, who else is thinking? The Proclaimer song. I'm just gonna ask. What? What? what I'll it? be there for you. No, no, that, that's like, not the Reclaimers. I'm the wrong one. I will walk a thousand miles. Oh, I've got the. No, I don't think I got the most. Everybody. <laughs> and I will walk in this castle a thousand oh. miles, and mm -hmm. I will walk in this oh, castle nice. a thousand more. Exactly. Yeah, just we beat her. Be the man. Going down, to be baby. the man that shoots at this girl that changes like a bat right at your door. We're copywriting strike. <laughs> oh no. Yep, Master Impressionist Galadrius has got us copyright stricken again. Oh. Well, well yep, sorry guys. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Look, that was a whole section. Happen. Like, you got a whole level of this castle. Now you're on level two. Tyler, Tyler. Yeah. All right. I was asking you, um, did you read the newsletter? Yeah, I read it. So what do you think? Uh, that you doing karate now? Yeah, I did. Isn't that cool? It is cool. I like to imagine that it's like on the episode of The Office with Dwight. And so you're like beating up like little eight-year-olds and nine-year-olds and stuff. <laughs> that would be funny. No sparring yet. I've only been to two lessons so far. Let me tell the story of starting it out, though. I mean, firstly... I wanted to specifically learn karate and not a different martial art because I'm sure you can guess why. Because of Cobra Kai. Thank you, Brandy answered for everyone, but yes, that's why. Because of Cobra why. Kai. Because of Cobra Kai. Yeah, like I really like. Obviously, as everyone knows, I really like Cobra Kai and the Karate Kid. So I was just like, I would like to try what they are doing in that. You know, like not just martial arts, but the martial art that they do. And so I'm trying it, and um, there's a lot of things to say about that. Oh, but I'm getting hit by these stupid ghosts. 
Oh, nice. Tyler likes Tech Guy's recommendation. That's great. Well, um, but here's one thing I'd say. Like, one thing Brandy does really well compared to me as a as a parent or compared to my mom is that she uh, she gets her she's able to get her daughter into different after school programs or whatever you know like um, but she like does dance and, and different things so and my mom did put me in art classes when I was very young which helped me have a lifelong appreciation of art but that stopped after a while and then I just I never had those I wasn't in extracurricular things you know I I didn't do drama which I think I would have really enjoyed and I I never got to do martial arts even though I wanted to my my whole life I've always loved martial arts you know so anyway I I'm old, but I'm not so old that I can't do them at all, right? So, uh, yeah, I just I decided I needed to do it. Plus, guys, as longtime viewers of the stream know, I have been, uh, over the years, I have gained a lot of weight. If you go back and look at our old streams, I used to be skinny, and now I'm not. So, that's a shame. So, anyway, I, I want to turn things around. You know, I don't want to be so sedentary, and I... I just want to get in shape and and um, learn discipline and and just make a better version of myself. And I hope that the karate will help me do that. Is that okay, boys? Yeah. They have nothing. Sounds to say cool. It. It's okay. a lot better than just being obsessed with Cobra Kai. <laughs> no, I'm putting my money where my mouth is. Oh, and Kano Electronico says that a lot of us gained weight during the COVID years. That is certainly very true. I know I did. Uh, but yeah, just like, I mean, I don't even, I barely, over the summer, I barely went for any walks or did anything productive. Like, I'm not one who, to shy away from walking at work or, or going shopping and walking around a store or something. But yeah, I need to, I need to do more exercise. And part of, part of the problem with not getting enough exercise has been riding for co-optimus. Because, you know, like, during the summer, I would I would get up and I would do co-optimist stuff until I was tired. And then I would just sit around the rest of the day, you know? And, like, I need to have a balance where I'm, I'm getting exercise every single day and things like that. So, uh, Jack you know. Jack Skellington, no! <laughs> yeah, and other people are better at that. Like, you have writers who, they always make room, they always make time for the gym or, or whatever. I'm just, I'm not good at that. I need to find better balance in my life. Yo, Ima, it's so good to see you. Ima, I'm sorry I haven't, I didn't get to see your stream today, but if you stream tomorrow, I will make a very strong effort to come. But, anyway. Yeah, no, I got all the achievements. I'm just continuing to play because we still have a stream to do. Ah, Thyrenia won! I'm about to die. Go, Thyrenia! Congratulations! She's about to rake in that gamer score, baby. So, real quick, let me talk about the actual experience of joining the, the school. And yeah, I shared a photo of my new uniform in the in the newsletter, so I hope everybody saw that. Just a partial photo. But I'll take a picture of me in it when, when I can get a good photo taken at the dojo, preferably. So, we'll see. The uniform is also called a gi, as you may know. Ah! Yeah, but anyway, so I... I'd emailed the instructor and I asked him. I told him, "Hey, I'm a, I'm a dude in my 40s and I'm really out of shape. You know, can is would your school be good for me? You know, because I wouldn't want to go to somewhere where like they're, it's like, well, actually, we're just for young people. You know, like for instance, in in the show Cobra Kai, the actual Cobra Kai dojo is just for teenagers yeah. and kids. So yeah, they they wouldn't want adults to join. And the question is, well, do they? Do they even want to tailor their lesson to older adults? But anyway, yeah, he said yes. My sensei is about as you know, he's about Mr. Miyagi age, so to speak, and um, and very smart, nice guy, and very friendly, and just um, that's one thing is you want to be able to get along with the teacher at the school. So it seems like we oh, will. Uh, can I can I drop down there? Tyrenia has won a code for time. Xbox. Oh, okay. Oh. Tyrenia won the code, by the way. Yeah, yeah, we congratulated her when she won, didn't we? I thought oh. we did. Yeah, I remember. All right. Because even said <laughs> she's going to be swimming in gamer score. Yeah. Something something to that effect. I don't know uh, what Galadrius is stuck on repeat. Yeah, I can't see what to do here. 
It this looks like maybe can you can you fire it? <laughs> they're like they're like no one's gonna look at the chain. Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah. Your abilities. it was an anchor. Abilities. Yeah, right. it looked like a chain, and that's why I was like, like Cobra Kai in the movies. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> you know that would be another thing. There apparently there are different you know different martial arts schools have different levels of friendliness and stuff like that. But this one is nice and small. I might have mentioned, I can't remember if I mentioned in the newsletter, but I'm a shy person. And so when I was younger, I did try Kung Fu for just a little while, but the school was too big for me. If I had had anybody else I knew who went along with me, it would have been okay. But like, yeah, I was, I was just too shy for it and I, I couldn't handle it. Um, and that's, make that, me go with him the first time. that's on me. Yeah. Cause I was scared. But anyway, um, so the first time I kept trying to go, I mean, I had to like, the sensei gave me directions and stuff like that, and I was emailing him back and forth for about a week, and I finally got, got to go, and he has a very small adult class, so like, he, he mostly is teaching younger kids, you know, but he does have an adult class, it's just small. And on this particular day that I went, the other guys were all busy, so they didn't show up. So it was just me and like I was just supposed to be there to observe, you know, I was just like um, I'll come along and watch a lesson and decide if I want to become a member But there was nobody else there but me, right? So he just gave me a private lesson Which which is a cool thing because normally that might be expensive or whatever He hasn't even hit me up for money at all yet, but I need to be paying him. But anyway um, Yeah, a private lesson and he was showing me different kinds of punches and kicks and just tell me about what they do and it was it was a very good environment and I liked it. And then we went back, uh, I went back a second time cause there's two classes a week. And the second time there, there were a couple of other people there and they were very nice. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy it. And he gave me a uniform, which I did not have to pay for, which is again, very generous because the normal practice is for you to pay for your uniform. And, um, Maybe he expected but, payment and then you just didn't pay him. <laughs> yeah. I think it's actually his policy. Like, he he is just a... I mean, he's not necessarily... It's his job, but I don't think he's particularly in it for the money compared to some people. Could be wrong. Uh-oh. So what do I do to hit this guy? Uh, but I'm almost done with my story, so let me get through this. But the, the uniform was um, a little too... The arms and legs were a little too long for me. And so he also recommended a seamstress to take the uniform to, to to get them adjusted to the proper length. And the seamstress is this this nice Chinese lady, elderly lady, and barely speaks any English. So that was kind of an adventure getting to her getting to her house based on the directions and and such. But anyway, like that was only fifteen dollars to fix the, the arms and legs. And you would never know that it hadn't been just made. At, at the length that it is now like it, it was a perfect job like she's very good and um, so yeah now I got my uniform which I will wear for the first time when I go next week here's the only bad thing about the classes guys am I do oh I'm I'm doing karate I know you really should read the newsletter like it's it's a good newsletter once a week but I mean I, I guess I'm in no place to criticize considering I keep missing your stream but anyway um, Shoot, what was I saying? Uh, the the only bad thing about the school, the only bad thing is that while well, it's in the same town as my as my school where I teach, <laughs> I'm, are you serious? It's in the same town where I teach, right? So, uh, and that's like a 20 minute drive from where we live. So, um, point is, I basically lessons are a bit late in the day, and I have to just stick around at work if I don't want to waste a lot of gas. So I, I wish they were earlier in the day. Also, because when I when I work, I usually get up at about four in the morning, sometimes even earlier. So by the time I go to my lesson, I've been up for like 14 or more hours. So I'm, I'm actually tired by the time I go to it. And that's a bit of a drag. But, um, but still, the school is such a good fit for me, except for that, you know, I'm just gonna learn to live with it. And when I'm waiting around up at work for, to be able to go to, to karate, I can be I can be grading and doing other things that I need to do for the classroom, so it's not a waste of my time or anything. Paul's Weekly Adventures brought to you by Brandy Cats. Mm -hmm. Oh, and at the the last lesson, they're having me do all these kicks. By the way, I like I love kicks in particular, so uh, I greatly enjoy the different kicks they're showing me. 
but they're having me do all these kicks and I, I kind of hurt my knee a bit because I'm not good at pivoting my foot. Like you're supposed to rotate your foot to protect your knee while you're doing roundhouse kicks or I think it was roundhouse. Could have been a different kind. And anyway, I hurt my knee a little bit. It's still a little bit sore, but I hope it'll be all the way good by Monday. But I may have to buy knee braces. I don't know. Mondays are bad too. Ah, uh, I feel you, dude. But that is that's my karate story, guys. And thank you for thank you for supporting me on it. I'm not going to just quickly change my mind and decide not to do it. Like I really enjoy it so far. When I when I'm there, I'm just like this is so cool. You know, I love the environment and all the people are nice and. It's just perfect for me. And I wish I had started a lot earlier. Oh, and one of my students goes there. One of my students, teenager from last year, is actually one of the, the karate school students. And I have not seen him there yet, but I may run into him during certain classes. Yes. So that's neat, too. That is cool. Yeah. So thanks for listening to my lengthy explanation. <laughs> Good emoji game, Javoris. But now you guys can talk about other things, too. I'm all worded out for the moment. Um, I Thank signed you, up Tara. for HelloFresh. All right, which is? Like a food, a food program. A food program that delivers, yeah. like, food, like, like unprepared food yes. and then meal instructions to your house and then tells you how to cook your food. Yeah. Well, how much is it? Um, well, it's a little pricey. It's like 70 bucks for three meals for two people each. So six meals for me because like I have leftovers, um, you know, so I have one meal will feed me twice. Um, so it's about 12 bucks per meal and I'm on like a promo period right now, but it's still pretty cool. And it's teaching me to cook because I'm not, I mean, like I, I know how to do basics of cooking, but I'm not like good at cooking. And so I'm learning a lot from that, which is cool. Can you make eggs? Yes, I can make eggs. Dang, you're ahead of me, Tyler. I'm bad yeah. at making eggs. Oh, Brandy yeah, eggs to... are easy. Brandy gives me hell about it sometimes. <laughs> you like scrambled eggs? <laughs> uh, yeah, I like Yeah, I like scrambled eggs. I like over medium and over But can hard. you make scrambled eggs? Um, I have at some point in my life, but not very well. I they're guess. pretty, I mean, they're pretty foolproof. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Okay, if I sit there and follow a list of instructions, I can make them. If I try to make well, them, no you literally turn on the eggs. heat, the medium, you put butter in the pan, and you put the eggs in the butter. pan, and you scramble them. Oh, I, I, we, I use my air fryer for a lot of things. Ooh, for scrambled geez. eggs? No, not for that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not for that. But I, wow. yeah. Yeah, I have an air fryer, but I don't use it. A ton. I like it. It's good, um, but still, I wasn't like making good meals because I don't know how to cook full meals. I would just like heat pork chops in it and then just eat pork chops because that's all I had. So this is kind of nice to like give me a full meal. You could have at least done a can of peas or something, Tyler. Ugh, canned oh, yeah. veggies are horrible. Uh, not if you season them and stuff. No, well, yeah. I mean, no, they're still pretty bad, uh, but they're also have sodium in them, which is not good. They do have sodium, yes. I, um, yeah. That time I, was, I died, by the way. That was I did HelloFresh for a while. When I was at yeah, it's a place. little bit pricey, but it's fun. And, like, I'm on their promo period right now anyway, so I can make a decision when I'm off of that, you know, if I want to stick with it. Yeah. So tell us about one of the meals, Tyler. Go into detail. Um, well, they I did, like, a chicken, a chicken penne, I can't remember, with peppers in it. Um, I did, like... Bon Mi style tacos, ground beef tacos. Those were good. Those had pickled cucumbers and shredded carrots in them. And so, like, they just send you like enough for everything, and then just give you instructions. But yeah, it's, it was good. They have some like unique things that I really like. It's not just like normal stuff. Ooh. Yeah, and you don't have to worry about going and getting this ingredient or that ingredient. Right. Yep. And oh yeah. I mean, you have to have butter, salt, pepper, sugar and like olive oil in the house but that's basically all you need that's the only things they don't send you um uh they also pack the materials really well like they pack oh these yeah cool little boxes they're kind of cool with the dry ice. not the dry ice the uh although if you do it for a while ice. just letting you know you're gonna have so many of those packs <laughs> that it's gonna be they take over your freezer okay yeah. yeah they uh yeah it's like some sort of weird 
like goop. It's like some non-toxic goop type stuff that they just tell you to pour in the trash. Huh. Yeah. What is Vlad Slavin saying about NACL? NACL, is that sodium? Yeah. Yes. I see. That, sent, is, that is salt. I sent Brandy a joke <laughs> involving a chemical, you know, the periodic table today, but she didn't appreciate it. I didn't see it. See? She wouldn't even look. It's like, wow. I haven't had my health phone on me half the day, so... Mm -hmm. Too much Diablo is what she means. Never too much Diablo. <laughs> so, uh, by the way, about games I've been playing, one thing you guys might remember about me is I'm not good at playing games during the school year. I, uh, I get home from work and I'm too tired to play and I just want to watch a show or a movie usually. And that, that makes it really hard to keep up with reviews and things like that. But I've been playing a little 30XX, because that is a really neat game, and I really want to give them the review like I should, you know? That was not a very in-depth periodic table joke, dude. I'm just gonna I mean, if I didn't tell you it involved yeah, periodic should... table, you would have gotten to it on your own, and, it, and you would have thought it was neat, maybe. Uh, you're not doing very well in jokes tonight. I'm just oh. Well, you didn't get to hear the joke, so you don't know. No, I've got an idea. You, you, you're not doing jokes. Oh, sure. <laughs> Somebody asked I'm not joining like... your comedy class, Galadrius. Quit trying to get me to go. <laughs> I don't want you there. You're, 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 <laughs> you're bringing the whole class down. <laughs> oh, you guys suck. This is not my friend, Paul. <laughs> I don't know yeah. him. I mean, yeah, here's the thing. When, when Paul got on the broadcast tonight, he was all like this. Where's Tyler? I miss Tyler. Not a word about me, <laughs> Tyler. I already knew you. you were coming. I was, uh, but Tyler uh, was supposed to be there at the start, and he wasn't. So You don't that... know that. I could have been injured in an accident. He'd be like, well, I wish Galadrius was here. But no, not even one of those. Just oh, Tyler. Man. That's true. I mean, you, you are right now Brandy you're on an unusual. You're on an unusually long stretch of not having broken any bones, so that yeah, is yeah. pretty good. Well, now, now you're just going to jinx me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's going to be in a body cast next week. Paul, you son of a... <laughs> oh, no. But and Dr. Sabota... Oh, yeah? Randy missed me, at least. No, we... Well, we knew you were coming, so we are glad that you made it. And Dr. Sabota asks if the book threw out polyhedral dice as an attack. Is that what it those are? Like they're... It. Oh, that's neat, because I didn't even notice. What is that? The the rug is alive. There's it really is a 70s shag carpet. Uh, no, 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 it's uh, it's burrowing in the ground like a, I don't know what. <laughs> ah, it's got arms. I don't like the look of this. carpet monster. Can I just jump past it? Ah, crap. All right, I actually don't know how to defeat that thing. Please don't let there be any more before I can get some health. One thing I feel that lately we haven't been that good on responding to the audience. We gotta we gotta be better at that. I guess the audience doesn't mind like they expect us to talk a lot, but we gotta try to keep up. That's all I have to say. Oh, oh yeah, light bolt. light light speed Halo. He doesn't come around anymore, huh? No. Why did he? Why do you mention it? He's streaming right now. What? He just came online. Oh. If, his, if he doesn't come around, you shouldn't watch him. That's all I have to say. Yeah, don't watch him. He's dead to us. That's right. Watch watch Asia Bunny or whatever her name is. <laughs> Alternately, you could He's, go to his stream and... He always guilt... comes oh, by. Baldur's Gator bust. <laughs> no, that's right. Bust. Alternately, you could go to his stream and guilt trip him for not coming around. Oh, yeah, I could do bad. that. Um, yeah, I tried, I mean, like, for instance, we used to have a regular viewer, Cloven Casey, who streams a lot, and, yeah, he, he stopped coming by, which sucks. Ooh, that He'd fish been... is gonna hit you. Yeah, but his friend Jordan still shows up some. Jordan's not Jordan's here cool. tonight, is he? Yeah, he is, and I mean, Cloven Casey is fun enough to watch and listen to, but if he ditches us, then, then he's dead to me, at least. Hey, it's a shame. I almost, I almost forgot. Um, I don't know Tyler, did you watch? Guy. Tyler, did you watch Good Burger? <laughs> no, I didn't. I meant to, and then I didn't. Dang it, Tyler! You know you watched I'm it. the worst. Hurry up and report it to us. It is a delight, Tyler. It is. I'll, it is. Yeah. I'll it watch is it a, this week. It is a future employment plan. That's right. <laughs> I'll watch it this week. Yay! Yeah, the strike needs to end so we can get the sequel already. 
Yeah, and uh, Spider Verse Part Three, and many other yeah. things. Yeah, many other movies. Lightspeed's just playing Call of Duty. It's boring. See? Which Call of Duty? But maybe you need to go to their streams, and then they'll come back, start coming back to your streams. You know, maybe it's a two-way street. <laughs> What? I mean, he never tried to get me to watch his stream. Um, like, if if anybody says like, "Hey, hey, come, I'm a streamer, give me a shout out or something," like I hey, try to support um, them. Do you want me to go and spread nasty rumors about him, like how he yeah. wets his bed? Or something? <laughs> it gets yeah, it, funny. Yeah, no, I haven't read the old any... articles. Read them again. <laughs> I haven't read anything this Here month. Here he just watches uh, Baldur's Gate three for the girls. Move. Yeah, I mean, they like they announced the release date for the Shredder's Revenge DLC. I didn't cover that. I haven't covered the the Double Dragon re-releases that are coming along, and something else. Oh yeah, Vampire Survivors. The the co-op update for Vampire Survivors came out, didn't it, everybody? Yeah, and, and, and now uh, it's out on Switch. Also. And there's one other bit of news. Uh, Castle Crashers will finally get a physical release from uh, the Behemoth. Is that really the first ever physical release, Weird. or is it just the first Switch yeah, it's physical? Their it's their first ever. It's Behemoth first must, be, must be needing a little bit of cash. They're, we need some quick cash. How can we cash <laughs> in on Castle well, Crashers I mean, again? They're working on a new Alien Hominid game, but they haven't announced anything on it yet. So oh, I guess they, must not want, they must not want any cash then, because no one likes that game. They probably uh, well, it's it it's too hard, you know, but it but it's a, if they would, I mean, if the new one has, like, a decent difficulty curve instead of being just balls hard from the start, you know, then, then maybe it will be great. Oh, just and, get good. Yeah, ball. Chicago made it. Good to see you, Chicago. I mean, Tyler, isn't that what you disliked about it? it yeah, I mean, yeah, I, it was before I really played harder games, but also it wasn't fun enough to get for me to get really good at and keep like playing the same two levels over and over and over and over and over and over because you die in like the third level every time. Yes. Although I actually did beat it, but really, I don't think so. No. I, well, let's go back and look at my gamer score. Maybe with Game Genie. <laughs> I beat it on Xbox 360. <laughs> There's still Game Genie for that. I don't think there is. There's ways to hack those achievements. Uh, well, there were ways to hack your save files on Xbox, but I did not do that for, for that particular game. Likely story. I won't say I never did it for any game ever, but not for what that is, game. What is Fextra Life? Why does it have an F in it? I don't know. That's right, Chicago. Not Kid Icarus. It is an NES-style game, though. And I got all 3,000 gamer score for it in the first half hour, and we're just yeah. playing a little longer than that. About six or more more minutes. Ah, dang it. I wasn't ready for them to show up. And they got me. Yes, they did. No one told me to get good. Anybody who says that is banned for three weeks. I'm, ba I'm banned? Uh, way to go, Galadrius. Oh, sorry. Setting a bad example for the kids. Oh, Gross. When am I supposed to set a good example? I'm a space wrestler. Uh, well, Anybody that's who... That's like using Charles Barkley as a hero. Don't do it. Hey, space wrestling isn't inherently bad. Uh, inherently, but, I mean, some people see it as something else. Ah. Uh, yeah, get bad, Get Paul. bad, Paul. Get <laughs> good. Get bad. Get nasty. Maybe I will. <laughs> um, what did we... <laughs> We finished Good Omen Season 2. We could briefly talk about that. Rapid Fire, I don't need that. I'm already on Turbo. John Hamm anyway. was a pleasure in that. I love that show. Yes, yes he's very good in Season 2. He has an expanded role in it. And a different, but, same character, but different kind of role in Season 2. Hey, did yes. you know that John Hamm actually played Fletch in a new Fletch movie? Not yep. Chevy Chase? Uh, yeah, I heard, best I heard it was pretty good, is it? I... It actually isn't bad. It, you know, it's not as silly as the Chevy Chase movies, but it's still pretty good. I think it's closer to the books or something, because Fletch is actually yeah. based on books. Yeah. Oh, really? That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> I'd right. be like saying Happy Gilmore is based on a book or something. <laughs> that would be funny to hear. All right. Um, oh, this is the wrong ability. Um, so what kind of thing do I want to do here? Okay, I can break the shield. Ah. Ah. He's falling on me. I've been reading an audiobook or listening to an audiobook. You can call it whatever you want. 
but I've been... It's Horns by Joe Hill, the son of Stephen King. Anybody heard of Horns? It's also a movie starring Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah. No. Well, it's interesting. Harry Potter. Yes. Yeah, Harry Potter is, but it's it's nothing like Harry Potter. It's uh, it's more much more like a traditional Stephen King story. Yeah, this, hey, Paul, tale. Paul, yeah. talk to the hand. <laughs> Apparently I so. Know, right? Get it, get it away from me! Ah. Hey, oh man, this guy's all handsy. You know, you know, a power up would be real handy right about now. <laughs> Wouldn't it? This is why girls don't like him though. He's too handsy. No, ah. I just. I, I can't help what's wrong with this game. I got. I can't put my finger on it. <laughs> God. If only there was something I could steal from this guy. Maybe get the five finger discount. Ah, no, that didn't work that well. But anyway, uh, so the the premise of Horns, I'll tell you about it. I, is this guy wakes up one day? He's had like a particularly bad night. His girlfriend was murdered a year ago, and he like had kind of a drunken night going to where her body was found and and just like i don't know what you don't really know at the beginning what he did maybe he cursed god or something when he when he went to visit but he wakes up with with horns growing out of his forehead you know like demon horns and uh so that's weird enough as it is and he can't tell right at first whether people can see them or not the horns and eventually he Actually, it's not that long before he realizes that because of the horns, people tell him whatever their their darkest secrets and desires are. And uh, so, I don't know for sure, but it seems like maybe he's like half demon or something now. And and anyway, like there's a whole mystery about what happened to his murdered girlfriend and like, you know, the nature of the horns and how their powers work and stuff. And Gosh, it's just a really interesting book, and uh, I can't wait to finish it and then watch the movie, because definitely I'd like to see how well they adapted it. Thanks for all the uh, all the uh, feedback, guys. I appreciate that. Yeah, horn <laughs> sounds great. <laughs> yeah. Tyler's like, big deal, I already have horns. You don't see me right. bragging about it. Yeah, I have horns on my mask. Me, like an Oni mask? So you're the only oh, it's one a wrestling mask. Yeah, the it's a wrestling book, mask. <laughs> the name of the book is Horns. H O R N S. Just simple enough. Horns. The sequel to Holes. <laughs> Maybe it is. You know, I've actually never seen or read Holes. I would like to. I saw it. Third Was movie it good? that I have seen. Yeah, that it's you cute. Not in one night. Little Disney movie. I haven't seen every movie. Back when Shia LaBeouf was tolerable. Yes. Yeah, Shia the Beef. Deep. Yeah, plus you know that one guy from the movie Holes is actually a competitive Mortal Kombat player, and that's fun. You remember when that story came out a few weeks back? I did not. Yeah, one of the actors from that movie, he cosplays and goes to conventions, and also, like, he won a Mortal Kombat tournament while cosplaying as, um, God, who was he cosplaying as? Does anyone remember? Uh, Ipana. No, it wasn't a Mortal Kombat character. He was cosplaying as, like, Black Lightning or somebody. I forget who it oh. was. But, yeah, it, it wasn't Black Lightning, but it was somebody like that, where it was, like, slightly obscure, and uh, it was just so neat, you know, like, for a, an actor to be a regular geeky person like us. Well, you know, they're actually out there. You know, Henry Cavill likes games. That is true, but but Henry Cavill, at the same time, is a, is a big muscle dude, and this guy's more of just a regular, like a real, fully regular person. Right. I'm just saying, you know, celebrities are like, I mean, David Harbour plays video games. He won't play with the Stranger Things kids, because, I don't know, it's <laughs> weird. It's they like have... a teacher not playing with the kids. Yeah. Is oh, that you, so? You walked right into the sonic boom, it's Kyle. <laughs> yeah, that was my own bad, but that's okay. We're we're almost Sonic starting. Boom. But you're getting to see a whole lot more of the game than you'll probably see it of it if you have, <laughs> if you win the game or buy it. <laughs> well, so, I mean, it's five bucks, right? Yeah, it is only a five dollar game. So if you don't win a copy tonight, I and you like easy achievement games, just buy it. It's worth it, and it's also on yeah. Windows 10, so you can buy it twice, and get six thousand gamer score, yeah. which is a lot. I mean, it's got that NES vibe to it, and it's not a bad game. You know, it's got look at the parallax scrolling in the background. That's really nice. Yeah, I, I really like that about it. If it didn't have the parallax, I probably would like it less. But it, it does give it a bit of class. Yeah, you know, I mean, the, some of the enemies die easily, you know, from one shot. But the a lot of them do. Good. But 
Yeah, the bosses are pretty good. I don't actually like... Tyler, what do you think of the sprite art? Uh... It's, I mean, I've seen a lot worse. Yeah, I guess there's a lot worse, but there's also a lot better. Like uh, Yeah, well, yeah. But the, it's an indie team, you know? What are you going to do? Yeah, I mean, the only thing visually that really impresses me is just the, the backgrounds, but... Not bunk, Sperry. Ow, ow. Spart art. Go, go check out Shinobi Non Grata. You'll see what no, I'm talking about. No, he's saying this sprite art is bunk, I believe. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's not bunk. It's just you can tell how it's... Yeah, very, very average or mediocre. But they did well for it for a small team. A lemon lime sprite. Ow, fudge. All right, well, the worm looked cool, Sperry said. Okay, well, um, did they finish the contest? Who won? Uh, not nope, yet. still going. All right. Still going. Good luck, guys. Still in. There's Xbox and a Windows code. Oh, there we go. Now it's closed. I would say I'm not, not very good at keeping count, but I think I've died about three times. I could be wrong. Uh, darker player, you you know the answer to this. <laughs> she took the night off. Oh, that's right. Um, six. We're going to say six. <laughs> it was less than six. I think you're right about three. There was one there, and the, one the other ones were bosses. Yeah. Two. But they still count. Still you, oh, I wish you could upgrade your life meter. Like, it'd be nice if there were permanent upgrades to, say, get a bigger life meter and things like that. That would be fun. Yeah. Darker player agrees. Six. <laughs> but it's not. It's only six. Anyway. Two against one. I'm sorry, Paul. You've been overruled. You died Two. six times. Soon oh, to be seven. Oh, man. Dang. Well, I guess it's a matter of public record. Well, hey, we're right. So <laughs> it's in the chat. So six. Are there any good movies coming out? No, I mean, I'm tired at this point. I, you know, like... Did you see I, Meg 2 The Trench? Because that's really goofy and fun. <laughs> no, but we... I mean, I've uh, watched and listened to a lot of things about it. And I did read the book. I'm the only person you'll ever meet in your life who's read the book of it. Yeah, a lot of people mind were blown. Like, wait, it's based on a book? <laughs> yeah, and we're talking about, like, cheesy books. It's not some kind of deep, really good book or anything. It Like, it is a B-movie book, but... Uh, um. Yeah, but the movie is different too. Like the movie adds Ooh. all these these dinosaurs that were definitely not in. Check in it the, out, Doctor Sabota won. Doctor Sabota won, and Yay, Black good Slate. Doctor Sabota. Congratulations. Congratulations! I like both of those guys. But yeah, Meg Two, and I think Blue Beetles out. Uh, I'm gonna. It's wait about to come out, right? It isn't already out? It's out. Is it? It's out. Yeah, it's out. Well, we gotta go see it. Here's something I didn't know. Blue Beetle stars the the main teenager from Cobra Kai. It stars Miguel yeah. Diaz. And George yeah. Lopez is in it, too. And, and George is yeah. in it. But, I mean, like, the fact that Miguel is, like, my, my favorite character in that show besides the, the older characters. So the fact that he's the lead in Blue Beetle makes me even more interested in it. And we all should go see it because it's going gonna, it's gonna to bomb because of not being advertised very well in different factors, but we, sh we should go see it and try it to not let it bomb so badly. Because it definitely looks like a good movie. Like, don't tell me you watch that trailer and don't think it looks Oh, awesome. no, 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 no. I want to go see it, but I, I, I know when you want to go see it, and tomorrow I'm working. Boo. Because I didn't do anything today, remember? Boo. <laughs> Palm Patrol movie? No, that's all right. I don't have to see that. You're not going to see the new Saw and then go see the new Paw Patrol, the Saw Patrol? <laughs> Saw Patrol. I'm definitely not going to see either one of those, preferably in my uh, entire life. Uh, oh, fair enough. Here's where I died before. And look at that. I've still got no life, just like last time. <laughs> Story of your life. No life. Oh, get Is ready, it? Darker Player. Get ready. All right, I killed him. I didn't die at the same part. That's good. Good job. Tyler, what else do you have to tell us about, Mr. Quiet? Um, I started playing Deathloop. Has anyone played Deathloop? Yeah, I'm is not. That the one? yeah that's actually pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it... It seems pretty good. I just got through like the first two hours, so basically the game is finally opening up. So I hope it picks up a little bit. Um, isn't, I'm not Tyler, great at first person shooters. Ooh, isn't Deathloop one of those honorable PlayStation exclusives That's where it's cool Xbox. that? No, uh, one of those. Is it on Xbox now? It's on no. Xbox now. Okay, oh, it, it is on Xbox now. Yeah, it got released. Oh. Before. Okay, but oh. I mean, it's one of those PlayStation exclusives where it's really cool that Sony paid Bethesda to make it a timed exclusive, but if Microsoft does that, it's not cool. So Yeah, there was also so Ghostwire Tokyo. That was also an exclusive. 
Yeah, but I mean, it's cool when Sony does it. I'm just pointing that out, everyone, just so we're clear on that. Yeah, you got such a, what do they call it, a, what's it called, an inferiority complex or whatever <laughs> for Xbox, <laughs> guys. Well, I mean, it's hard to be superior when, uh, when half the third-party games are, are paid to not come to your platform. Yeah, but Xbox then just goes and buys the whole de- the whole <laughs> developer anyway. Well, what alternative were they given? That's why they bought Bethesda, to keep Starfield from becoming a PlayStation exclusive. Wasn't that the... the Supposedly. The final, yeah, the final justification of it. So, um, yeah, I agree, Jono. Or at least, I mean, like... And, but that's the thing. People who support that platform, a lot of them seem to think that behavior is justified as long as it works in their favor. If it works in anyone else's favor, it, it's not justified. And I would rather... I mean, exclusives are bad. It would just be better if there weren't exclusives. But anyway, yeah, as we've discussed before, I want Microsoft to be able to catch up. So I hope that they catch up somewhat someday. We'll see. Well, I mean, they're releasing Starfield. That's getting a whole bunch of positive feedback so far. And then they yeah. also got Ports of Motorsport, which drops in October. And then yeah, once but... they complete the Activision deal, they'll add a whole bunch of their games to Game Pass, even if they're not Call of Duty. They'll, we're talking well, like Pro Skater and the Crash games and the Spyro games and stuff, so that'll be to their benefit. So... Well, Forza is Forza's guaranteed to be a good game, but it is not a game that will attract new players. Like, all the, the PlayStation fans... For how I mean, Forza has been the best racing game for how many years? And I mean, if if you haven't already bought an Xbox to play it, you're not going to start buying one when Forza Part 23 comes out. You know, like you. I mean, you know, people bought Gran Turismo 7. Were well, they bought the PS5 to get the most out of Gran Turismo 7? You never know. I don't think that many that many people did. But yeah, well, otherwise, is that a big game? A movie. Oh, that's right. The movie's coming this month. Yeah, and that's going to bomb, isn't it? It doesn't look that good. I mean, it's just like, do I? I mean, I don't need to see a movie about a kid being a Gran Turismo star. I can watch the YouTube videos and I can figure that out. <laughs> yeah, the Gran Turismo Academy series. I don't need a movie, even if David Harbour is. A... Well, the only reason I'd see it, Neil Blomkamp directed it, the guy who did oh, um, Chappie like and all that. And yeah. he's I don't like Chappie, of course, but I Well, like I mean, he, pro- he reportedly did a great job with the racing footage, so I might go see it for that. Are there going to be any mechs or cool-looking aliens? Because if it's, it has either of those things, I have to see it. It's Gran Turismo, so I'm going to guess no. Boo. Tyler, you didn't have any <laughs> thoughts? It's not DLC. On what? Ugh, freaking Tyler. He's asleep. Oh, Gran Turismo, I haven't, I haven't played it. <laughs> He's having another uh, sneezing fit. We're talking about the movie. Poor Tyler. Oh, he, he I'm never sure really it'll be awful. To tonight. Oh, oh, you do? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, Neil Blomkamp, wait a minute. Neil Blomkamp has directed one good movie. And like, it was okay. How, how many bad Dist- movies has he made? Uh, yeah, the District movie. It wasn't yeah. as good as yeah, I thought it was. was. No, man, it was incredible when it came out. There was nothing like that before it came out. Hey, Elysium yeah, was boring. boring. It was it was so not boring. I can't believe you would say that. Anyway. It was boring. But Elysium was great. <laughs> I'll hear nothing bad about Elysium. At least, okay, well, I haven't seen it. It's nice to meet someone who likes Elysium. There had to be someone, so. <laughs> you, you didn't like here. You're getting good, Paul. No, You're I mean, bad. no one, I mean, really, critics did not like it. Nobody particularly liked it, but it's not like Chappie where everyone literally hated it. But I mean, but like, people just weren't it. into it. I liked it. I thought it was a good movie. It reminded me of Vanquish. Well, maybe I'll watch it sometime then. Yeah, uh, Vlad, Vlad actually likes Elysium. Um, no, the problem with chappy that keeps it from even possibly being very good is that it stars die antwort or whatever they're called yeah why would you give a a movie to those guys they're they're awful hang on it's a south african rap group or something oh well no i thought sure lito copley was the guy that played chap Uh, i mean but but the band is also like they they play other roles so you're yeah, gonna... Vlad agrees. They shouldn't be in it. They're 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 really weird and awful. Just trust me. I don't, I don't yeah, need but... to. Okay, well then. But hey, Sigourney that. Weaver's in it. Hugh Jackman's in it. I think I'd rather watch RoboCop. But then watch RoboCop. I mean, RoboCop's amazing. I'm... Yes, I the old one. To. The old one. The '80s one. <laughs> not whatever that remake was. Well, the remake is not terrible, but yeah, it just yeah, it has not, no reason but... to exist. I'd rather watch the Peter Weller version, you know. Definitely. Yeah, because, I mean, it's... Can you believe that Tyler doesn't like RoboCop? 
I like Robocop. I like well, Robocop. I didn't love it, but it's okay. cool enough. It's weird. Yeah. It's real, real weird. Yeah, it is. Coming from a man who watches Baldur Gate three streams for completely different reasons than else watches. No, well, that's good, Tyler. I was actually just guessing that, of course. Oh. Usually, usually you're not that fond of eighties movies. It's interesting. Yeah. It's kind of it's it's weird. What, are we, oh, what, what the heck was that? But it's not bad. That was Brandy. that wasn't my phone. Brandy's playing her wrap it up sound on her phone. Jeez, Brandy. Usually the the hand gestures are enough. Anyway, all right. Well, yeah, the director is South African. You're right, Vlad. However, that doesn't make those people people that you want to watch on screen or li especially listen to their voices and weird accents. Um, sarcastic. Well, satirical is, is what it, is more accurate, but I can yeah. see how you could think of it as sarcastic. But anyway, let's go ahead and wrap it up because definitely uh, I've been stuck on this level and, and I'm tired of playing, so... Everybody, we have been playing Castle Walker for Xbox. It is also available on Windows 10. It's not on anything else. Both versions cost $5, and both versions have 3,000 gamer score. So if you want to get 3,000 gamer score in under half an hour, this is certainly a game you'll want to buy. Thanks to Desert Water Games for donating it. Galadrius, thanks for, for picking up Tyler's Slack tonight, showing up on time and all that good stuff. Well, you know, maybe next time you'll think of me equally. <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. I'll maybe never equally. forget you, Gladys. Oh, uh, thank you, Brandy. You. See, she's the one that matters. <laughs> this game. Wow. Tyler, thank you for, for still joining us, even though you had a very busy day. Yep. Happy to be here. Uh, Brandy Bell, thanks for hanging out and being fun. Always. Icky, thanks for running the contest. Dr. Sabota, who might have already fallen asleep, thank you again for the nice presents you sent me that we showed off earlier. Thank you for making our stream intro and ending and every other cool thing you've done for us. And thanks to our subscribers for financially supporting the stream. Hey, there he is. Yeah, uh, subscribers keep us going. That's why we do this. We're almost up to our nine-year anniversary. We look. Oh, yeah, don't forget, Saturday Game School takes place every Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern and 6 p.m. Pacific. We always stream a different game. We always give out cool prizes. So we love all of you. We love hanging out with you, giving you those free games. We'll see you next Saturday. And remember, don't hate. Appreciate. See you guys. Peace and chicken grease and get good. Bye. Yay, Jono. Number one subscriber, Jono. We love that guy. <laughs> Dr. Zoda. That, that ought to hold the little Jonos. <laughs> the little SOB Jonos. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry for, for talking over your closings, guys. My Jeez. bad. Uh, it's really hot. Brandy turned the fan down, which I wish you wouldn't do. Very hot. But anyway, um, but yeah, no, it has not cooled down. Anyway, um, but yeah, let's say bye to everybody. Deadpool, look at that. Deadpool stayed up till like four in the morning to hang out with us. We appreciate that. Yeah. Who else? You guys want to say bye to him? Darker player, Dr. Swoboda, Tech guy, Irenia and Wolfblade, yeah. Alejandro. I'm, I'm an idiot. Don't be so hard on yourself, Tyler. <laughs>